Welcome to Tuesday Night Training, my loves. Um, tonight we are going to be talking about um, two things. One is going to be parties and the other is going to be um, the possibilities of this business and what the, the gift that this business can bring to you and to others. So first we're going to start off with parties. I know that parties tend to be a dreaded thing for many people. I know a lot of people don't like doing them and I know a lot of people um, just stop doing them. And so I want to go through and talk about how we have all heard it. Oh my gosh. Hold on. What's this? We have all heard a million times that parties are our bread and butter. Okay. And a lot of people may roll their eyes at me and like, I hate parties, this, that, and the other thing. Some people love them and that's great, but some people do not. So <clears throat> just hear me out. And if I'm looking down, please just, I'm looking at my notes. Um, so how many of us hate doing parties? I'm not the biggest fan of them. And I mean, do I do them? You bet you're behind, I do. I do them because they are necessary for growing your business. They are 100% necessary for growing your business. And I know that a lot of us are sick of hearing crickets in our parties or sick of you know feeling like you're talking to no one, and I get that. But I can promise you that those of us, sorry, I have water in my ear from swimming earlier. Um, but those of us who have a thousand, two thousand, five thousand, or more in PRS a month, I can promise you we're doing parties. And the people, other people who are having those PRSs are doing parties as well. So, um, where was I? My kids are now distracting me. <laughs> Okay, so I don't care really, honest to God, how big your customer base is or how big it gets or how much you can, can continue to grow that network. Um, we can just talk about how true it is that you have to continue to grow that network, okay? Um, you know, even if you have hundreds of customers, thousands of customers, um, you still have to do parties to continue to grow that network 150%. We are all still growing our networks. You know, I mean, you may catch a break and get a huge group of, of followers like I did, a huge group of customers in a short period of time, but that doesn't give me an excuse to stop doing parties. That doesn't give me an excuse to um, just sit back and hope they order and you know it, you can't do that you still have to do parties you still have to grow your network and if you stop stop doing parties if you stop growing your network stop meeting new people stop talking to new people stop making friends guess what happens your business stops growing. I have made this mistake before, so you need to please listen to my advice um, and and learn from my mistakes because I have done this. I have stopped doing parties. I have stopped growing my um, network of customers in the past, and it left me in a rut. Now, thank God I got out of that. Thank God I was able to move myself into a different situation where I, I found a new platform being Facebook Live and I got myself out of that. But I could have very easily not been that lucky and I could have very easily been stuck in a rut in rebuilding my whole customer base and my whole everything. And I don't want you to have to go through that because it's very frustrating when you are trying to even like, I mean, even when you're trying to get to yellow and you need a thousand dollars in sales, 
Um, and even at pink and blue, when you only need 250 in sales per month yourself, I mean, obviously you need 2,000 or 4,000 in company sales, but you personally only need 250 and you're struggling to get that 250. Or if you are an elite status presenter and you get caught up in your team and you get caught up in, in other things and you stop doing parties and then you can't get your 500 a month and you're struggling in the last week of the month to get your 500. It should never be that way. If you are working your business properly, hell, you should be qualified for the color rank of you, you by the very latest, the 15th of the month. By the 15th of the month, in the very least, you should have $500 in sales. You should be qualified. As potential and growing and new leaders, that's where you should be. It's the truth. So I've even heard a lot of rumors about people, um, presenters not having launch parties, which is just ridiculous. Like, I mean... I, I thought to myself, surely this cannot be true, right? Um, and sadly, I found out it was. And the thing here is, number one, it's a big mistake. Number two, it's a massive mistake. And number three, you have to have a launch party. You have to have a launch party. I went yellow in my launch party. I busted my rear in those 10 days, and I made sure that my customers knew about every single product most importantly, the mascara at the time, but I made sure of it. And every single person I knew, knew I was having a launch party and it wasn't because I spammed them. I didn't spam them and I didn't post a ton of graphics in the party. I posted pictures of myself and that's, you know, that's it. You got to, every single person you know needs to be, have a personal touch from you letting them know that you're there, you're doing this, and that's what's going on. Okay? So, period, end of story. You must have a launch party. You must. Um, your launch party is your coming out party. Okay? It's you telling the world that you have fallen in love, that you have found your why, and that you're on a mission, and um, that they can take a couple paths. Number one, they can um, they can decide to join you on this journey, which is what we all want: sponsoring, sponsoring new people, and sharing this incredible journey with them. Sharing that with them. Um, so this this is the opportunity to reach out to your entire network so that the next time they think of beauty, the next time they think of makeup or, or they hear about unique, they think of you. That is what your goal is here, is to make that, um, to brand yourself. Your launch party is... Um, is you branding yourself as the go-to beauty expert, the go-to makeup expert, the go-to for unique. You are that girl and you are unique and unique is you. That's what you are trying to do here. Um, so the question is, a lot of people are like, well, I don't know how to have a successful party. What do I need to do to have a successful party? Um, and that's what I'm about to go over, okay? So there are um, what I have come up with with seven steps for a successful party. Number one is to create a group. Create a group. Number two is to always keep your groups open after the party closes. Number three, coach your hostess. Coach your hostess. Number four, Use your own pictures and videos. Number five, a personal thank you to every single person who orders from you. Number six, do not spam. And number seven, be genuine. Now I'm going to go into each one of these just a little bit. Um, number one, you're going to create your group. So there's some debate on whether or not to use groups or events. If you are an event person, 
then I strongly, and I know most of you have heard me say this before, I strongly urge you to create an event inside your group. Because, um, so you're going to create a group and then you would create the event inside the group. Uh, and the reason for this, the number one reason I should say for this, um, brings us to number two. Okay, which is to always keep your groups um, open even after the party closes. Uh, you don't want to go through and remove everybody from the group and close out the group. You do not want to do that ever, ever. And the reason being is because when you have a party in a regular event, you lose that entire network. Say they invited 300 people to that party. 15 responded, 15 are getting notifications, um, and those other 200 and uh, what, 85 people are gone. They're no longer a part of your network. They're gone. You never even had a chance with them. In a group, everybody is added. Maybe not everybody's going to see every notification that you put out, and that's okay but they're going to get a notification. And if you're doing the party correctly by starting the party, the very first post being a video, chances are you're going to get a lot of people that are going to start getting notifications about your group. And that's just Facebook law. That's just how it works. So um, when the event goes away, if you do an event, all of those people go away too. If you do a group, it doesn't go away. It's still there. You can still post in all of your old parties and old groups. All of those potential customers, potential teammates, potential hostesses are gone once the event's over. They're still there when the, when the party in the group, six months later, that group is still there. Six months later, you can post about the kudos. Six months later, you can post about our new products launching. You can post about whatever. Um, I personally use groups only. I don't do events, period, end of story, unless, unless it's an in-home party. But that's a whole nother animal, okay? Um, so I post in all of my old parties regularly regularly I post in them and I cannot even begin to tell you how many thousands of dollars of PRS I have gained over the year in um, just simply doing that simply posting in old parties um, <clears throat> and I mean it's just it, you I, I, team members have come out of those old parties. People who were not even slightly interested in the product when I did the party six months ago are coming to me now and are saying, hmm, I need to, I, I, I would like to try this now. Six months ago, they said, who is this nut? I am unfollowing this group, I gotta go. Now, they're interested. People are always watching always watching. Um, <clears throat> so like I said, I can't tell you how many team members and how many parties I booked from them. Uh, and these, like I said, were all people who, who wanted nothing to do with the business. They wanted nothing to do with the business. Um, but these methods are tested and tested over and over again. They work. They do not recreate, we don't need to recreate the wheel because the people who that come before us, the people who have been in this industry, the people who have our top leaders in this company have already created the wheel for us. We don't need to recreate it. We need to make it our own, but we don't need to recreate it. We need to work smarter and not ho harder. So number three in parties um, is to coach your hostess. Some people are like, what the, what do you mean? Hell do you mean coach your hostess? Well, let me tell you what I mean. You need to make sure that they are aware that they need to be posting in their party. 
They, you, it is, it is no longer, I will do everything. You sit there and get the rewards. No, they need to post in the party because let me tell you this right now, your, um, hostess's friends don't give a damn about what you think or what you like or whatever anybody, Sally Sue is, uh, um, the unique presenter for this group and she's just trying to make money off of me. They do care about their friend though and their friend is the one that needs to be posting in there and talking about the products and loving on the products and talking about how excited she is to try the new products and this and that and the other thing. They need to be active in that party. A hostess led party is a hundred times more likely to be a successful party um, in, mo in most cases, the hostess friends, I mean, sometimes they know you. Sometimes, 90% of the time, I'd say they don't know you. Um, and your opinion doesn't matter to them, but their friends does. So, hostess-led party. You need to coach your hostess. Um, number four, use your own pictures and videos. Have I, have I ever said that before? I don't know. I maybe might have muttered it a time or two, but <laughs> I can't tell you how important that is. It is very, very, very important. You want these people to see the products on you and not some random person, okay, um, that you have zero connection to. We talked about this last week. We talked about this about graphics or using a random photo on the internet from another unique presenter. Yes, she may be gorgeous. You know, but like, for example, um, I used last week, I said Brittany Kaplan. Brittany Kaplan is a gorgeous girl. She has phenomenal pictures, but you are not Brittany Kaplan. They need to see it on you. They need to see it on you. And in the very least, use pictures of, of, of your close wife sisters that you know that you can actually say, this is my friend so-and-so. Um, <clears throat> what am I? Okay, yeah, so gone are the days when you could just throw up a happy eye, sad eye picture and call it a day. You can't do that anymore. That is why it is so important um, for you to be doing videos and more than just lash pictures. You need to do an eye look. I don't care if you are not a makeup artist, it doesn't matter. That doesn't mean that you still can't take a killer picture and do a killer eye makeup or do something or play around and practice, practice, practice with your products. You can do it. Um, you know, I mean, that's just the bottom line. You need to be happy. You need to be funny. You be whatever who you are. You know, whoever you are, be that person. And, you know, just do it. Do videos. We've talked about this a million times. Anyways, number five, thank yous. You must personally thank each and every single person who places an order. Do not throw out a blank you, blanket thank you. Oh, thanks everybody for uh, who ordered from uh, Susie Sue's party. Uh, really appreciate it. Here's my VIP page. No individually we each get emails when we get a new order as soon as you get that email you get your behind in the party and you put up a thank you there are seven billion unique thank yous on Google image find a unique thank you that says thank you for your unique purchase or make your own and thank each person individually and then private message that person and thank them personally on a one-on-one -on -one basis. You are making a connection with them and they are far more likely to become a repeat customer when you do that. I also, if I have a customer that places an order, I also tell them I'm gonna put them in my VIP group. You know? Um, and let them know what that is, what my VIP group is. Okay, so number six, do not spam. Do not spam. You know what spamming is? Graphics. Graphics is spamming. 
Uh, do not blow up the party page with 45 posts in five minutes. Space out your posts. Do not post in there six different pictures of different eyebrows because you're talking about the brow kit. One photo per post. One photo per post. Because when people are scrolling through six billion miles a minute on their timeline or in their news feed, when they see itty bitty 14 pictures plus seven more, they don't care and they keep scrolling. If it's one picture and it's a dynamite picture, they're going to stop and they're going to look at it. If it's a video, even better because it's going to start playing in their news feed and they're going to be like, ooh, what's this? Ooh, what's she doing? People are nosy. They like to know what's going on. Um, so, no graphics. And, um, yeah, so that's it. Number seven, be genuine. I touched on this a second before. So, don't try to be someone else. Don't. Don't try to be me. Don't try to be Sherry Brown. Oh, this is pretty, pretty killer. Um, but you know what I mean? Don't try to be another, another presenter. Be you. Don't try to be Angie Castellano. Be you. You. And this is something that I, that I was told. Okay. Because I was trying to think of something awesome like Angie. All right. And the fact of the matter is, do you know when my biggest success came? Is when I threw myself out there and I was 100% no filtered me. And that is when I gained my following. That is when I gave, gained all of that. Me. Being me. No apologies, Jill. That's, that's who, who attracted everybody me. Um, cause the bottom line is you're pretty great. I'm pretty great. We don't need to be somebody else. We're great. You don't have to have a hysterical character to be awesome because you are already awesome. Sorry, this is starting to sound like everything is awesome. Everything is good, but it's fun and my team. No, okay. Um, so that's it. Just be genuine. Be you. Those are the the steps to the parties. And now I'm going to uh, segue into the other part of this. And um and that is the possibilities of this business. I want to talk about the gift that each and every one of us have. Okay. Um, this gift is what you make of it. But each and every one of us contain this gift. And it is right here. And that gift is, is this business. Is this opportunity. Um, there are two possibilities here two amazing possibilities that you have, that you can hold in the palm of your hand. Two possibilities. Those two possibilities are, to, number one, to change your life, and number two, to change the life of others. To change your life and to change the life of others. Um, this business will allow your every dream, every vision, every want, and every need. It will provide for that. It'll make it a reality. Excuse my two-year-old just screaming out there. Um, that is the gift. That is the possibility, this opportunity, okay? Um, with this gift we have been given, there comes a responsibility. And people are like, well, I don't, I can't take on any more responsibility. I don't want any responsibility, blah, 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 blah. Well, guess what? There comes a responsibility that we have been given when we signed up as unique presenters. And that responsibility is to share this gift with others. I am not seeing enough sponsoring going on here. And when you are not sponsoring, you are not giving that gift to others. 
when you are not sharing your excitement, your the possibilities of this um, journey with others, you are not doing your responsibility, your duty as a unique presenter. And you're not giving them the opportunity. You're not giving them the opportunity to have this incredible, incredible gift. And you need to give that to them. You need to. It's not about, oh, growing my team, making money, blah, 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 blah. Sure, that's a great thing, but that's not what it's about. It's about changing other people's lives. And you need to get out there and sponsor your rear end off. Find it. I don't want to hear, oh, I can't do it, nobody wants to join me, blah, 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 blah. Then you're doing it wrong. Then you're doing it wrong. And if that's harsh, I apologize. But sorry, not sorry, you're doing it wrong. You need to show them, show them with your own emotions what a gift this is. You are giving them a gift. So anyways, um, if you don't see this as a gift, and I know not all of you do, if you do not see this as a gift, as a source of endless possibility, then you personally have some work to do and that's okay because we all have self-development and work to do but if you don't see the vision or see the gift then you really 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 need to dig into the to what work you need to do you have to do some soul searching you have to really search for the vision to see what this limitless lux, this amazing, amazing opportunity we have been given here. Um, you need to see the vision for yourself and then you have to help those other people see the vision. You have to help those other people that you want to share this gift with, you have to help them to get there, to see it, to believe it, to know that there is not a single thing that can stop them from receiving this gift and giving it to others. Um, <clears throat> because we're all sitting on a throne of limitless locks, of endless possibilities. We've got to get our mind and our heart straight, right? Um, and that's in life in general, you know? It's not what I want, what I want, what I want, what I need. It's what I will and can do for others. You need to be a servant leader. That's what we are here to do. We are here to serve others. And in that way, when we are serving others, we will be rewarded and in, in, in be serving ourselves at the same time is really what is, is going on here. All right. Um, and the, the whole thing here is not, um, if, if I can be successful, all right? It's not about if I can be black status. Um, it's not about if I'm going to be a mascara millionaire. It's not if I'm gonna be on the wall of influence. It's not if, it is when. When will I get there? When will I be on the wall of influence? When will I be a black status leader? When? Win, win. Zero doubt in your mind. You will be there and you will make it happen. It's when you make that decision. And honest to God, it is because I have zero doubt and I know that nothing is going to stand in my way. It is because of that. Because my mind, I've made up my mind completely, made up my mind and my heart is right and I have the vision that I will go there. No doubt. No doubt. Um, it's going to happen. Period. End of story. Thank you. Have a good day. That's it. Um, and it's because of that. That my possibilities, my dreams, my opportunity is endless. Endless. And the more you share this opportunity, this gift with others, the more you 
will have endless opportunity and gift and possibilities. It's sharing it. That is the key here. Sharing this with others, this gift. And you just have to see it and envision it as a gift. Um, I'll share my vision. I will share my opportunity with every single stinking person I know. Because when you are given a gift like this one, like unique, you cannot hoard it. You cannot hoard it. You have to share it. And when you do that, when you see the vision, when you take the gift and give it to others, um, your world, their world, everybody's world will be changed in a beautiful, beautiful way. There will be no limits. There will be no limits. Uh, the only thing that's left after you share that gift is endless possibility. Endless. Endless possibility and it's life changing. So, the question is, do you have the vision? Do you see the gift that you have been given? Do you see it? Each and every single one of you, do you see it? Can you say with 100% certainty that you believe with all of your mind and all of your heart and all of your soul that these possibilities and this opportunity, this gift you have been given is an endless, abundant gift. Can you say that? If you say yes, then my last question to you is simple. What are you going to do with this gift? That is what, are you going to share it? Because the way you share it again, is in sponsoring. It is sponsoring that is going to allow you to share that gift. And you don't have to work hard to sponsor people. When you have the vision, when you have the joy that this opportunity and this gift brings you, oozing out of every pore that you have, they will come to you. Because they will see the gift and they will see the vision in you. And that is your goal. That is what you are trying to do here. That is everything. It needs to be visible in you. That is how you sponsor. That's how it works. Um, and that's it. That's all I have for you today. I want you to think on it. I'm going to go ahead and I want to thank you for joining me tonight. I am, I love you all. I love you all.